Hi, I'm Brittany, and I'm part of the stewardship team at Credit Valley Conservation. Today, I'm going to show you how to properly water a recently planted tree. All you need is a hose, a watering can, or a bucket. Trees add beauty and value to your property. They also reduce the effects of climate change by cooling your yard and your home in the summer, as well as soaking up more water when it rains. Today, we will be watering this red oak tree, and you can use the same method for any recently planted shrub as well. Newly planted trees need to be watered immediately after planting to reduce air pockets and to settle the soil. To ensure that your plant develops strong and healthy roots, you'll need to water your plant regularly for the first couple of years until it becomes established. When you water the tree, make sure the water soaks deep into the ground, about 20 to 30 centimeters. This is called deep watering. It helps your plant develop strong and healthy roots. When you're watering, make sure to water the ground about 30 to 60 centimeters from the trunk. When watering your tree, you have two options. You can use a garden or a soaker hose, or you can use a watering can or a bucket. If you can, avoid using a sprinkler, as most of this water will evaporate before it even gets a chance to soak into the ground. It also wets the leaves, which makes them more prone to disease. Option one, lay a soaker hose on the ground, circling around the tree to ensure good coverage. Or remove the nozzle from your garden hose, leaving it on a slow trickle and make sure to move it periodically so you get that good coverage. Leave the water running long enough that you get that deep watering, about 15 to 20 minutes. You can use a trowel to dig down into the soil and you can check to see how moist that soil is. And this will give you an idea of the ideal watering duration for your soil. Option two, if you don't have a hose or prefer to use water from your rain barrel, you can use a watering can or a bucket. Slowly pour the water around the base of the tree. Take a few short breaks to allow the soil to absorb the water. Once the water starts to pool on top, it is done soaking it up and you can stop watering. It is always best to water early in the morning when there is less evaporation. If that's not possible, water in the early evening. How often you will need to water will vary based on soil drainage, wind conditions, slope, and recent weather. The soil should feel cool and moist, but never wet. The best way to check is to feel the soil below the mulch. Only water if it feels dry. Both over and under watering can damage or kill a new planting. Signs of over and under watering include leaves that are brittle, discolored, curling, or drooping. Unlike annuals or perennials, a tree may not show signs of stress right away, and it might be harder for it to bounce back. So be sure to care for your tree from the start so that it remains healthy. For the first two years, water twice a week during the growing season if it has not rained. In the third year, water less frequently, but make sure to increase the amount of water that you're giving the tree so that way you can reach those deeper roots. After the third year, your tree should be more established and you really only need to water if it's been hot and dry for more than a month. And don't forget to maintain a six to eight centimeter layer of mulch around your tree to reduce water evaporation and keep the soil cool. With these tips, you can provide your new tree a great start to a long and healthy life. 